guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel in case you are new. I am Chichi and you're highly welcome. If you're seeing my face for the very first time, please do where to click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be making an honest review of this JRA face cream. If this looks like what you are going to be interested in watching, then you need to keep watching. So today, I'm going to be reviewing this JR Official Cream. I'm going to begin with telling you how the consistency of the lotion is for one, how the, how the facial cream works on the, on the face. This is actually a face cream, but I think you can also use it on your body, depending on how you want to use the face cream. You can use it on your body too, because I think they have the bigger container. Than this one, you can use it on your face and body, but like this is this is a facial cream. They wrote JRA foundation body cream, but a lot of people are using this as their face cream, or you can use it on your body too. I'll begin by telling you the consistency, how it works on the skin, which skin type is supposed to use it why you should not use it and so on that's all about this video on JRA facial cream so as you can see these are two facial cream which is to tell you that the person that already used it has already used two containers so I have enough enough cheese to tell you about JRA facial cream so this facial cream is this is my auntie that uses the facial cream but as she began to use the facial cream I was she's here with me so I used to monitor how the facial cream is on her skin though I've used this facial cream back then like a year ago I've used it before but but it's nice it's nice on the skin it's not like I don't know if I got the fake one because it's darkened my skin a little and that's all. So I will use the experience I had when I used it and the experience on my auntie's face to tell you my honest review on it. So let's begin with telling you how the consistency of this facial cream is. So this is how the facial cream comes. It comes like this. It's it's kind of yellowish inside when you take a good look at the inside this JRA is being abandoned like about two months ago that that is to tell you that the person using this is no longer using it so it's been abandoned so I will still tell you why it's abandoned and it, how it finally looks like so we are done with the consistency. So how does GRA works on the skin? It helps to clear the spots on the skin. It brightens the face depending on your on your skin type because when I use mine, it did not brighten my face. It darkened my face. So I think if you want this GRA to lighten your skin, I think you will like promise it. If you promise it, then you get that perfect result on your skin. So coming to, we finish how it works on the skin, right? I told you it clears the spots on the on the face. It smooths your face. Yeah, it does all that on the face. But so I told you that this JRA has been has been abandoned by my auntie for a while. This is the this container she already finished, it. and this one is she got this one from America. This is the original one. You can tell from the from the label that this JRA is original JRA, and the write up on the label, it's it's not washing off. But this one, the write up on the label is like washing off. So I don't think this one is the original one. That, that's why I told you that I'm going to tell you why she aban abandoned this one. She has already abandoned this one because this one is the fake. So let's, 
let me be using the container of the original one to be talking to you but so it's the fake one and she has abandoned this facial cream for a while now and it's changed color coming to that that's why i want to tell you why you should not use jr facial cream the ingredients they didn't say this con it contains hydroquinone which you know that any cream that contains hydroquinone is the cream that if you like cover it for a while and you didn't open it it will turn the color the color of the lotion will turn like brownish or dark but this one they didn't say it contains hydroquinone but it already comes it's it's not the same way it is when when my auntie bought it so i think this jr it contains hydroquinone which makes it i don't i which I do not recommend for anybody. And secondly, this JRA, it's it's so sticky. It's so it's sticky like it's made with Vaseline, which I have. They said it's made with petroleum jelly. Yeah, which is that Vaseline that I'm telling you. So if you have that oily face, I don't advise you to use JRA because it will produce more oil on your face, making your face look more oily. And you know, oil face are the face that attracts acne and pimples. So I don't advise anybody with oil face to use JRB facial cream. It's so oily and sticky. So let's talk up. Let's talk about the ingredients of the of this JRB. They said it contains. It contains. Cardal wax, it contains ceramic acid, it contains cetyl alcohol, it contains petroleum jelly, it contains paraffin oil, it contains glycerin, and it contains honey and fragrance. So here is the direction how you can use um, JRA facial cream. Use JRA foundation to wipe and heal which is morning and night, I guess. Apply a small quantity on the area where black bluish appears and, and, and massage delicately to absorption. Yeah, you should massage it delicately because this is so oily, it's sticky. So that's all about, and this JRA is made in Ghana. It's a Ghana product. So that's all about JRA facial cream. This one is the fake one. And this one is the original one. But I do not know how to differentiate between both of them. It's just that the right up on the fake one is clean. Why this one stays? That's how I can differentiate it. So if you find this video interesting, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the subscribe button for more skincare, hair care and vlogs updates. Just click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.